great. <laughs> Excellent. Well, welcome. Okay, so I just want to welcome everybody. I know we've got a few more people signing on, so thank you for coming. We, uh, I'm just going to repeat a couple of things. We're we're working today to clear out all this heavy heavy energy that we've that many people have been feeling with all that's been happening in the world with COVID. So I know we've got people in different locations across the country. Um, and Ren, if you don't mind telling me, where are you located? And as she's doing that, I'm going to just tell everybody, um, if you're in a place that is uh, safe to do so, if you can just get yourself a nice, comfortable position, maybe sitting where you can kind of feel your feet on the ground, take a breath, and just, you know, kind of let go. Pacifica, oh, great. All right. Yes, I used to live in San Francisco. So I know a lot of people like to, um, they're very open to this kind of work, which is great. Okay. So, all right. So if it's um, safe and comfortable for you to do so, just close your eyes and take a minute to just connect with your breath. And before we get started, what I want you to do is to just kind of scan your body. You're not looking to shift anything, change anything, but you're just noticing what's going on, what's happening. Are there any uncomfortable sensations in your body? Um, where's your, your mind at? And just notice what's going on. And now that you have done that, I want you to now just feel from the bottom of your feet, just feel this energy coming up from the earth. We're going to just draw all this support in for this group right now so that you are connected this time, this space into your body and so that you can really feel what we're going to do today and feel the energy coming up that warm golden light coming up to the bottom of the feet and feeling that supportive calming energy coming up from the bottom of your feet up through your legs up through your chakras if you're familiar with the chakras are so the first the, the root chakra the bottom of your torso up to your belly button up to your solar plexus up to your heart, feeling that warm, calming energy come up to your throat, up to the space between your eyebrows, your third eye, and then up above your head and just feeling that keep moving up, connecting you to your soul, your higher source, and whatever you call that, to God, the universe, and feeling that connecting up to the heavens and allowing that to support you. And just feeling that really anchor in. Okay, and from this space, I am going to tune in to our group here and just make sure that we are all nice and even with each other. And I'm just going to do something silently to get us all in sync with one another. Strengthening everyone's spinal cords. All the nerves in the spinal cord and the whole central nervous system and body. <sighs> and I'll warn you that I do wind up yawning quite a bit when I do this work. It's just the way my body processes the energy.
I'm just raising up everyone's frequency, vibration, and energy. Okay, so what actually comes up as a, in general for this group is, um, you know, of the six areas of life, health, finances, youthfulness, fitness, um, career, and relationships actually is career. And what comes up with that specifically is purpose. So you want to energetically strengthen everyone for their purpose. And there's some forgiveness and release required for that right now. So we're just going to clear all that's in the way of that. And that's contained in everyone's spirit. So we're clearing out the spirit. And there's some fears. Okay, and they're not even coming from you. It's from the ancestors, somewhat yourself, but also family members and significant others and um, descendants, children. So we're going to bring all of these influences together. We're going to even them all out and neutralize them, make you separate and independent and neutral to these factors and we're going to send them away to the far end of the universe to the black hole wormhole all those effects okay and that's um much more clear now it feels, but it's also on the, the non-conscious level, which is uh, a psychic level. So we're going to remove all that. Okay, and we want to open up what we call the exit portals in the body. So that's under your chin, under your arm, your hands, the fingers, the feet, the toes, the colon, genital, bladder, the sacral, sacrum area. So these are the exit points of the body where energy leaves. So energy comes in and goes out. We want it to go out. So opening all that up. Okay, the exit portals, there's some weaknesses there. So we want to strengthen that and open, clear that all up. And again, that's outside influences kind of clogging up the flow there. So we're just clearing all that up. Okay, and again, it's lodged in the spirit, so we're clearing all that. Okay. I'm just making you strong to releasing it and letting it go. Okay, and let's see. Okay, just clear that um, on a cellular level and then the quantum level, quantum particle level. Okay, clear the body, the mind, the spirit again. And just all the cumulative effects up and down your whole system. And then we're just resetting your whole nervous system. Okay. And if you haven't done so already, you can feel free to open your eyes and 
just want to see if you can in the chat, just letting me know, how do you feel now? Do you feel the same? Do you feel different? Maybe just lighter, more relaxed. Good. Excellent. Great. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you, Ren. Glad you feel calmer. Yeah. Okay, so now let's look at what everyone needs next. Yay, good. More relaxed. Okay. And also just want to say, if anything comes up, like you have a word or an image or something that comes up when we do this, feel free to, you know, put that in the chat too. Okay, what comes up next is more, um, okay, no, there's still something with the job, the purpose. Okay, I get business. So um, I know some of you might have your own business. Okay, and so what comes with that is just we want to even out the energy between your business and your job and your job and your business. So there's some um, contradictions or conflicts, not major conflicts, but just some um, something there that needs to be smoothed out. And that's more the mind, non-conscious level again. And that's from outside influences, uh, again, in the spirit. Okay. Yeah, that's on a psychic level. So let's check what that does. That people, places, or spirits. People, places, spirits, other people. Family members. And even clients or customers, depending on what it is that you do. So we want to smooth all that out and it's not you to them it's more them to you so we're going to clear that out again in the spirit um <laughs> here i go yawning <laughs> and there's from them, just a lot of, and this is happening in general in the world, so we're going to really clear this on a lot of deep levels, is um, what we call mistaken identity, which is sensations, emotions, and reactions. And it's just a lot of reactivity. So people reacting, so we just, first again, keep you separate, independent, neutral. From there, sensations, emotions, and reactions. Body, mind, spirit, okay. So we're going to strengthen the boundaries, internal to external, external, internal, and the dynamics, the vertices. So that geometric foundation, so you make you strongly separate, neutral. So positive, not positive, negative, not negative, neutral. Okay. And that has to do also with what's coming up is getting involved or not getting involved. So I'm going to strengthen you. You get involved, you don't get involved, you're neutral, but you really don't need to get involved. You can you know, put everyone here, and then all the people in your life that are affecting you, make them all even, and even out all their sensations, emotions, and reactions, and then remove them, clear them out, all their mind. And then we're going to separate so there's some entanglement of their mind into your mind. So we're going to separate all of other people's minds and spirits out of your mind and out of your spirit and out of your body. So pulling that all together. And there's like beyond infinite things going on there. So we're going to bring those beyond infinite influences down to earth, make them finite, make them even, neutralize them all. And then we're going to send them out 
of the universe, other dimensions, universe exists, time and place, place is unknown, black holes, wormholes, dark energy, dark matter, down to zero, minus infinity, just clearing that out. And it, getting that out of effects on the brain and all the nerves, all the cerebral spinal fluid, all the cells, and the quantum particles and the empty spaces of your your body. And we just put download some speed into that quantum level so that these interferences can't come in. And again, removing what comes up is frequency interferences. So we're going to remove frequency interferences. And then there's some triggers. And deleting, it's good for being out of the past. I'm going to remove it out of the future timeline. Out of the weeks. Okay. And what comes up with that is also just more um, with the COVID um, back and forth decisions. You know, first, first we're wearing masks and we're not wearing masks. We're staying at home and we're not staying home. All the, all that ups and downs and back and forth. So evening all of that out, all the causes, all the sources, all the past and all the future and all those accumulative effects. And it's like beyond infinite effects again. So we're going to, again, pull that again together. Bring that back to earth. Make it fine. Make it even. And send it out. Okay. And then strengthen everyone. Just to allow forgiveness of others, yourself, or all just what's happening. And people, other people also forgiving. Okay, and then there's about 100,000 more things. So we're going to just clear that too. I'm going to just reset the body, the mind, the spirit to reprogram the thinking, perception, and awareness, and restart, regenerate, rejuvenate, repair the whole body. Okay, so now, how do how do you all feel? Do you feel the same, a different? Um, any of those things that you noticed at the beginning when you were taking that inventory? Does that feel any any shift? It can be minor, major, or not at all. Excellent. Great. Yes, yeah, so Rana is saying she feels deeply connected to the source. A wonderful major shift from when she sat down. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. Felt the same. Stabbing pain near liver, signing a bit. Okay, so let's look at that. Okay, so definitely some stabbing weaknesses. <laughs> um, okay, and that's not yours. So who is that coming from? Okay, 
Okay, there's some of that is partly yours, but it's also what comes up is education. So what is that? Teaching or being taught? Okay, so something there. Something from the past. Other lifetimes. And... Okay, so a curse. So there's something, some sort of curse going on there. Um, partially indirect. And that's actually a cultural curse from other lifetimes. Okay. Okay, so let's eat the, the, let's eat the pain. There's also irritation, the stabbing itself. Um, gut pain, I get as well in the gut. So we're going to clear that, whatever's up with that. Um, and the achiness and a pressure to... So all these different kind of sensations, but all kind of tied up with the stabbing um, sensation. Um, and deleting the suffering. So not only to suffer, make other people suffer, not only to pay the price, not owing anybody. So as we remove the karma... It has to do with punishment and separation. So we're going to move all those. Yeah, ooh, it's pretty intense. So we're going to move all that, delete the intensity and the reactions to it coming up and the spirit. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff held in the spirit. Okay, we're moving all that and allowing it to, to, um, to leave. All the sources of it and strengthen the out to release to forgive forget unconditional and that's really um forgiving yourself at from whatever happened at that time and and it so that the because of the intensity, it triggers a shutdown. So we want to remove that shutdown uh, out of the spirit. And then there's shutdown in the world, right? So we want to clear being triggered by the shutdown in the world and then that creating all those shutdown experiences. We had to shut down in order to survive or, or to be able to deal with some sort of intense um, situation. So all of that, and that's beyond infinite influences there so we're bringing that together bring it to earth make it finite make it even and all those effects okay and it's out of the spirit now out of the body but now we got out of the mind and that's on, a, on more of the psychic level and what other also comes up is like people stabbing each other in the back so we want to remove all that And then we're going to open up the, the exit portals of the body and the black holes too. So the, the mental, lymphatic, the black holes. Now open up those exit portals. Heaviness in your body now. Uh, contrast to the flight you're feeling. Okay, all day. Scattered on ground. It, okay. Okay, great. Um, first, I'm just going to check as I look at um, Ren's comment here. Nanette, how does that feel now? Okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to look at here. So ungrounded now, move. Okay, so let's look at that. Okay, so Ren, I'm going to work on this, the not being able to move. Yeah, so something not being able to move. Okay. Move. So where is that coming from? Okay, so yeah, what comes up... Um, 
some reverse perception. Um, legs and your seat. Okay. Okay, so for you too, there's some educational things. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, and part of this is being triggered by all that's all the information that this constant um, bombardment of information that's coming out with um, the COVID situation. Um, yeah, so just clear the confusion, the overload, the overwhelm. And that yeah, it's psychic influences. And there's some spiritual energies, so even entities, nothing to be afraid of. I know sometimes that freaks people out. So we're going to just clear those. Um, and it's just kind of in, in the area where you are. So we're going to clear all of that up, bring those all together, make an even one contained, and we're going to send them out to other dimensions, universe exists, time and place, and all that, and remove them down to zero, my infinity, out of your body, your spirit, your mind. I'm going to cut the cords, cut the ties, cut the cords, the ties, the hooks, the sentiments, the attachments, and them to you. Um, and it's their, the fears of these energies. So we're going to separate you from it, it from you. And we're going to just clear those fears and then make sure those um, energies are not in your mind. And then the spirit's out of your mind. If that, that sounds might sound weird, but it's like they're, they've attached into your mind. So we're going to send them out. And strengthen them. They no, no longer return. Send them to wherever they need to go to get their resolution. You don't have to resolve it for them. Okay, and we'll apply this to all of us here. Send those, any energies that just don't benefit, don't belong, they're not you. And we just want to keep clearing these things that are not of us. We can get back to that lighter place, right? Or we can play and have fun. Okay. Okay, there's still some future connection with them, so we're going to clear that out too. And just remove all the cumulative effects. And out of your energetic body, so the causal body. And then still the mind. And then just clearing out the memories. Memories, imprint, decisions, remnants, remains. And lighten that up. And make it strong for you to just release, forgive, forget, unconditional. Okay. And open up under chin, arm, hands, fingers, feet. Open up the feet, toes, everything going down and out. And then we just even things out for what's going on for everybody here. Clearing, you're lingering in your calves and heels. Okay. Okay, so there's still some more external influences. Some more. Okay, so now it's just like collective. So make you separate, independent, neutral to strongly, strongly neutral. So where is that needed most for all of us here? So body, mind, spirit. So, okay, so we got to strengthen our minds here to be strongly separate, independent, and neutral. Strongly neutral, neutral, neutral to all that's going on. Um, across all time, all space, all dimension, universe, existence, and all levels of being, known and unknown, seen and unseen. Um, and then we just clear all the emotions. It's all emotions from outside again. So we're going to clear all those emotions. Whew. And then again, that's on the quantum level. So on the quantum particles, just clear those up. Anything that's not you, not yours, not beneficial, clear that up. We're going to activate the strong, download and activate strong programming to just 
keep running through, not just right now, but beyond this experience that we're doing right now, beyond this session, so that it keeps moving and processing. And then there's a weakness in the future for it to start petering out weeks from now. So we're going to strengthen that. Keep it going. And even eons. So all, all time lines are strong. And let's remove any reactions to it shifting. And again, there's some shutdown, so we're going to clear that. And that's more the mind. Okay, so just send the mind. Empty the mind, clear the mind. Okay, how's that now, Ren? And Nanette also wanted to check how it is for you now. Okay, good. Okay. He was gone. Awesome. Okay. Oh, hello, Emily. Um, okay, so now I want to have some time to make sure you all get to um, that you get to have some specific requests. So if you have, so so I do want to lay a little groundwork here. Is when you submit a, a request, we just want to make it really. Um, very simple. So like maybe one line about what the, what the topic is. So maybe it's, oh, um, you know, issues with my coworkers or not happy at my job or, or whatever it is. And we just want to keep it a, like a simple thing it's because the, the smaller the description is, the easier and faster it is to, um, to be able to resolve it. So you can just go ahead and put that in the chat when you um, are ready. Forge ahead with new career. Okay, great. Okay. Um, I am going to ask you one question. What is it that you're doing now? Ah, laid off. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, so what comes up is also, I'm sensing there may be other people in your workplace that were also laid off. Mm. Ah, okay. So, yeah, education does come up weak. Clients. Yeah. So something with clients. So, okay. So let's look at that. So purpose. So we want to strengthen you for the purpose, purpose to your career, career to purpose. And we to strengthen you for your intuition, for your insight, your knowing. Um, but there's something outside of you that is, is contributing to this. And that's family. Okay. And then also just having the clients connect to you. And it feels like 
the, um, the herbalism part will be actually really easy for you. It feels like it's something you're already really into and you know a lot about. Um, and you just, it's just more getting kind of that sort of that certification or, or whatever it is. Um, and even if you don't know a lot, it feels like it's going to be very easy for you. It's more, um, it's kind of learning about the business part of it and getting the clients. Okay. So there's some psychic influences. So we're going to remove all those. There's some hooks. Others oh, hooking into you. So we're going to clear those hooks. So who's got their hooks in you? Um, okay, so something with siblings. We're going to remove that. This lifetime. There's just some karma, some sibling karma. Um, and that's more, um, I feel like, I kind of want to say maybe like an, just their doubts and worries. So we're going to remove all that. Um, kind of like the, the pressure to be more, um, pressure to be conventional, to do it this way, to do it like be boxed in. So we want to remove all of that influences and it's their, it's their stuff. So we're going to just clear all that. They think they're being protected. They mean well. And there's actually some religious influences. So we're going to clear that up and that's other lifetimes from the sibling or siblings. And some sensations that there's some kind of panickiness that they have. So we're going to clear that. Some, a lot of pressure. And I'm putting pressure on other people. So we're going to clear that pressure on all levels. Some hurting, fighting even, struggling. Okay, so yeah, a lot of sensations they got going on. So we're going to clear that up. Lighten them up, loosen them up, let them strengthen to just let it go. Uh, uh, to no longer hold on so tight. And their willingness to let it go. Okay, and just all the negative expectations. I'll clear that. And their experiences of punishment and betrayal. And then them to you. I still get like unintentional, but we're going to clear all that up. Whatever needs to go, we're ready for it to leave. Mind. I'm going to clear up their mind. I'm going to separate again. They're thinking away from you. I get the word tentacles. <laughs> so we'll clear out the tentacles. No more octopus. Octopus go in the ocean, not in your relationship. So we're going to clear that up. Yeah, oof. Yeah, I'm feeling that clear up. Oh, it's feeling much better. There's some more things there. So whatever else, there is like, it's like a million more things that just want to be cleared. Fathers, worries, and fears. Again, from outside. Okay. More separation, but in a good way. And strengthen them to their own answers. And not looking to... Um, it's almost like avoiding their own situation to... Um, yeah, it's almost a programming and it's not even, it's not from them. It's collective of if uh, it's like attaching to other people's problems so they don't have to deal with their own. So we clear that up. Okay. 
and let all the cumulative effects, the body, the mind, the spirit, down to zero minus infinity. And just reset everything. And strengthen all the parts of you to come back in. Those highest, truest, strongest, light, knowing, grounded, that powerful, yeah, powerful self. You to your powerful self, powerful self to you. All that connecting, communicating, coordinating, and lighting up your new path. Ease, joy, grace, we'll strengthen that. And just, we'll um, connect you to the answers, the answers to you, the answers, the actions, the result, all the resources, the finances, the opportunities, the people, the places, all whatever needs to come together, lighting that path. And then you being able to really fulfill your purpose. And then the clients coming to you. Okay. Okay, so how's that now, Ren? And while we're just waiting to see how, if Ren is feeling a, a shift, um, if there's a topic someone else has, please feel free to go ahead and put it in the chat. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, it feels good. It feels like it's a good path for you. Okay, so we're, I'm going to... Open it up for another um, topic if someone else has something they want to have addressed. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay, I'm going to just see if there's a general topic for the group now that needs to be cleared. Okay, so what comes up is, is relationships. And first, right now, there's just some things with, with your own self. So we're going to strengthen all of that. And it's actually... The relationship with self is being affected by the outside influences. So clear out those outside influences, separate, independent, neutral from them. Send them away. And, and clear up the future so there's more connection. And just some forgiveness for yourself and for all that's been going on. Okay, that feels better. Okay. So, um, last call for if anybody has a specific topic you want addressed, please feel free. So, um, while I'm waiting to see if there's anyone else that, that has something they want to put in here, I do want to... Um, let you all know a few things. I, I know some of you may have worked with me before and some of you may have not. So I do do individual sessions with people and you can um, kind of check out the details at my website, which is ccolleenoconnor.com. Um, that's C like I see things, S-E-E -E, and Colleen, C-O-L-L-E-E-N, O'Connor, O-C-O-N-N-O-R.com. And um, also, I do plan on doing some more of these um, Facebook Live events. And I, you know, please, 
please feel free to uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I also do, uh, I'm going to be doing some more videos on YouTube. And with that, I'll, I'll keep doing some more of these energy clearings. And I would love to hear from you what are some topics you would like addressed and what your results are, what you feel from them. Even if, if um, you know, hopefully you come to the, the live events and if you can't, even looking at them after the fact, you know, just post it on the social media, what the, um, what the results were for you and how you feel after you've um, watched this. And even if you um, watch these things or you can even just listen to them if you're, look, if you're looking at them after they've been, they're no longer live. And just notice the difference of, again, how do you feel before you, you listen to it or participate in it? And how do you feel after? And just notice those shifts and those changes. We really want to get people feeling good again and feeling on their path because the more of us that are able to feel really reconnected to ourselves and, and no longer feeling this like heaviness going on anymore, the, the, the more this whole thing in the world can resolve and the more we can all be on purpose in doing what, what, we, what we do to make the world a better place. So I do also want to offer um, for those people that participate in this, um, I am going to, um, I, I have a special for brand new clients where if you book an appointment between now and um, September 1st, We'll give you 20% off of your first session. And any existing clients, um, you, you could, or you would, if you refer a new client between now and September 30th, then you get a free session. Okay, and I've got a question here. No one is putting anything. Could I put, oh, sure. Healthy romantic love. Yeah, okay, yeah, because relationships are coming up. So for sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I want to do one more thing here. Work on the, the relationship piece. So let's look at that. Okay, so okay. Okay, so it's just, uh, there's, again, some psychic interferences there. Um, and it feels like that's actually more, not so much people, not so much spirits or spiritual energy, but places. So other places, distant, so it's not immediate, intermediate, but it's more distant. Well, actually, a little bit intermediate as well. So surrounding areas. Um, the town where you live. Um, and that was, I think you said you were in, are you in San Francisco, San, San Francisco proper? Okay, yeah, and there are actually... Okay, so... Um, Education comes up again, and that has something to do, Pacifica, that's right, okay, so the town, yeah, so we're going to strengthen you for, a, let's see if it's Pacifica, or if it's San Francisco, it's more Pacifica, so we're going to strengthen that aspect, and it's just kind of the area, um, the flow, like the traffic flow, the flow of getting in, getting out, things coming to you, you going to it, all of that. So we're going to strengthen that. Um, and there's some forgiveness there. Um, we'll make you strong for that. So one question, Ren, real quick, is when you think about um, having a romantic relationship, how does it make you feel now? Like, do you feel something in your body, like a pain in your stomach or an unease or anything?
in your chest. Okay. Okay, again, it's something external. Um, collective and family. Um, psychological issues from them. Um, some sadness, some loss, some grief. Yeah, sorrow. Um, it's almost like a fear of joy. Yeah, fear. And health fears, because of health fears. Yeah, so we're going to clear all that. Stuff in the past. This lifetime and other lifetime, just all those experiences. So just um, bringing that together. And removing those. Okay, so, and then we'll just, again, uh, strengthen those exit portals, so everything to go down and out, and open up the black holes and in the, in the inner black holes and the outer, outer ear to pull all that out of you and off to um, other dimensions and universes and send it away to there and not in your system. Okay. And again, clearing out the cells, the cellular imprinting. Moved up to your head. It feels cottony. <laughs> okay, cottony. Okay, so some emotions coming up. And again, it's other, all the emotions, all the attachments from these outside, in, it's ancestors actually, and the family members, all their emotions coming up, but that's okay. We're coming up so we can just release them and clear them of those emotions, strengthen them, just let it go. Other spirit. It's actually the tissues, the cells, and the quantum level, up and down the whole body, just clearing that out. And it actually then goes into the subcellular, so like genes, chromosomes, DNA, all that. Um, and just r r clearing out all the programming that came, that resulted from that across all of them and across all time and space. And all the effects of that. Okay, how does that feel in your head? Much clearer. Okay. Okay, so we're going to um, wrap up here unless there's one more. If there's um, anyone else who has uh, one more request. Last call for alcohol. Uh, just kidding. If there's anything else energetically you want cleared. Again, just a one quick word. And then for Ren, actually, what else is coming up? Just you to new connections, new connections coming back to you. So we're going to make that more. There's some thing there. Okay, so there's some karma. I just want to clear that up too.
And that's on the collective level. I'm just uh, strengthening for the forgiveness of that. Okay, how does that feel? You feel any shift with that? Good. Excellent. Okay, so I want to do one last thing here just to have all this really anchoring in for the group here. <sighs> um, for the group, there's still one, a couple of things more with the job. More business, actually. And it's inside of you. And it's more subconscious, so we clear out that. Any any influences there that might be blocking or influencing negatively. And let's clear any um, psychological influences. Some sadness from the past. So letting that grief and sorrow go. It's something triggers, whatever is triggering the mind to bring those things back up. So we're going to clear that out. Out of the past and out of the future. And just any fears that are coming up. Fears of um, changing. All negative experiences of change. Remove all those negative experiences of change was... Um, not necessarily welcome change and that's collective more collective experiences so we're going to clear that up and clear that out of the future okay and just some residuals from that and some remains uh, on a cellu cellular level on a quantum level. And on the in the empty spaces of the body, clearing that out. And open up those black holes to clear up that. And then put more speed into the quantum level, empty spaces of the body. So again, there's it uh, wards off outside influences of other people's emotions. And then open up those exit portals again. Chin, arm, hands, fingers, feet. Open up the bottoms of feet. The sacrum, the coccyx, the tail, all that bottom of the, the torso. Opening it up and down and out. Everything goes. Okay, and I'm going to even it all out. Okay, and I'm going to raise up everybody's frequency, vibration, energy. That feels good. And we want to strengthen that. This, um, all the benefits of this continue beyond this time together. So strengthening that timeline and that um, everyone around you friends, family, co-workers, neighbors, um, your community, all, all the people that you interact with, you're connected to, we're going to make them all even within themselves, with each other, and with you, and apply all of this to them and to their central nervous system so that they 
recognize, allow it, accept it, receive it, feel it, perceive it, speed up that perception. Um, and remove any resistance, rejection, or reverse perception from them so that they get on the same page. Or program them to support your changes, support the new you that they perceive, you being better, them being better, and things being better. And again, raise up their frequency. That's got to be stronger. Their vibration, their energy. So they're on board. And they support this totally, completely, absolutely. So completely is not completely strong. So I'll raise that up. Okay, and cut on a psychic. We want you to connect with people only through your, so we call it like your computer to their computer, but not to all the emotions and the thinking and all that, but just computer to computer. So syncing everybody up that way and then deleting the whole, removing the whole habit or programming of connecting in ways that are not helpful. So only the beneficial ways and all the rest is just removed. I will make them strong to um, allowing this and feeling it and embracing it. And just clearing up some old programming from them. And making them strong for the changing. And then everyone's strong for ease, for joy, for grace. Okay, how's everyone now? Awesome. Yay. I appreciate it. Yes. Like I said, so if I, I think I have most everyone's email, most people registered. If you, if I don't have your email, um, if you can go on to, uh, you can send it to me on through a chat on Facebook. Yay. I'm glad you feel wonderful. Um, because I'd like to just keep you in the loop and make sure you also get, um, the recording of this. You can in the future, if you're not if you're feeling a little off or more stuff comes up because life is life and it probably will, um, you know, just listen to this to help re reconnect you back to all this energy and all this clearing. And I really want to thank you all for being here. Please let other people know about it so we can get things moving in the right direction. And, um, you know, like I said, I do individual sessions as well and would love to, um, keep working with you in that way. So take a look at my website again, ccolleenoconnor.com. And um, stay strong until then. And we'll, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep doing more of this. So thank you.